The purpose of this video today is to help you make the connection between actual motion that you see with your own two eyes and the graphs that describe that motion. In this video, you'll also have the opportunity to solve two problems using UAM equations. So as you can see, the cart was moving on the track from left to right, the origin was on the left, and we have the velocity time graph and the acceleration time graph. Now I'm going to use the software to measure some information about the velocity, the initial velocity and final velocity, initial time and final time. Some of this information is blocked out because you'll need it, you will be calculating it using your UAM equations. I'm also finding the line of best fit for the velocity graph so that we can take a look at the slope of that line and see how that compares to the acceleration that we get from the acceleration graph. Two ten thousandths difference. So on the acceleration graph, we'll be looking at the average acceleration. So if those are small for you to see, coming up next, we'll have the actual data. So here are the numbers that we read off of the graph. And now, pause the video and find the final velocity. As you can see, when I unblock the numbers, our final velocity is 0 0.5100. And here's how you calculated it. Now, pause the video and find the change in position. Hopefully, you got something close to this because that's what the position graph says on the software. Here's how you calculate it. I hope this video helped you to see that the UAM equations are not just for solving word problems. The UAM equations actually help us describe what's happening when real motion is happening right before our eyes. Thanks for watching.